Welcome folks to Drakeotic Plays and today we're playing a game called Super Robot Wars T. Now, this is a game that has been around, I guess the series has been around since the early 90s. Um, but it's only been around, from my understanding, for the most part, in the Far East. So... This is a Japanese and Asia Asian game that Yeah that song I like this song Yeah I rob I was super rob I was If you could see me right now, I'm dancing in the seat. Robot Wars, Super Robot Wars. All right, so Super Robot Wars, guys. Um, Super Robot Wars is a game from... <laughs> this song just keeps going. Um... Yeah. I don't know if it's going to repeat or not. All right, hold on. Let me turn this down a little bit. Okay, guys, so Super Robot Wars is a game from the series has been around since the early 90s. It's only been available mainly in Japan and Asia countries, Asian countries. Um, back on the DS or 3DS, sorry, I played this game called Project X Zone and doing these retro gaming videos, I have been wanting to I've been basically wanting to find something that was like Project X Zone, which was a mashup of Capcom characters from different games, all thrown into one in a strategy RPG. So when I was searching Project X Zone and games like it, this game kept coming up. Not necessarily this T version, but Super Robot Wars. Oh, I don't want to ruin anything just yet. Hold on. Ah, shit, I don't want to ruin what it is. Okay. We'll get to that here in a minute. All right. Um, <laughs> basically, this is a mashup of different anime robots from anime shows and other anime characters all in a game, which is a strategy RPG. So with that in mind, let's jump in. Let's check it out. I almost ruined it there for a minute. Um, I did go through and play the tutorial already. Fucking I'm jumping right into standard. Eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. All right. Totiko, I can't pronounce that. Tok Tokido, Tokidos. Uh, Tok Tokado, Sazio, nickname Sazio, nickname. All right, let's. Yeah, let's. Uh... Nickname Drakey. Why you pick birthday and blood type? Um, I, I don't know. Um, I'll just pick a random day. I have no idea. I'll just leave it blood type B. I don't know. I don't know if the blood type I really have a thing to do with it. I don't. Anyways, let's go ahead and just jump in. Bonus content has been downloaded. Ooh. See, the greatest turning point in human history. Humanity fell into a decline after the decades of prosperity known as the Golden Age. Humanity's passion was ground to dust by the harsh truths of outer space. Caged within the... Caged within the... Caged within the solar system. Corruption festered and the world became a battlefield for an endless war. Dot, 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 dot. So, so this is an imported copy. This is the, there's, so if you like what you see and you're interested, uh, the UN, the uni new universal era, 2000, yet battle approaches humanity in this twilight age. 
So basically this, um, there's two copies to get. One is there's a Japanese version, the more there's an Asian version. Version? Version? If you're interested in this, do not get, unless you know how to speak Japanese or read Japanese, do not get the Japanese version. It does not have English. There is an Asian version. That one has China, sorry, Chinese, English, and Japanese in it. That is the one you want to pick up if you don't know how to speak Japanese or read Japanese. Oh, we're starting right, right away into this. All right. So, Tokido, how are things looking? Not good enough, to be honest. I don't know, should my voice be that way? I don't know. Oh, cool, it says Drakeatic. Nice. Can you be more specific? Engineering has exceeded expectations within the mechs. We need to thank them later. Nah, I shouldn't sound like that either. He's got like this cool engineer. Engineering has exceeded expectations within the Merc. We need to thank them much later. Yeah, okay, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> we have your daily feedback. Thanks for that, I'm sure. The problem is the pilot. Me! I had too many drinky drinks and now I can't drive it. I ah, get it? Okay, anyways, let's move on. That's not true. That's, well, that's true. Uh, the Tyranado is a serious machine, but this is also seriously unruly ride for a cool guy like me. I see. I would prefer to push back the testing date just to be sure, but testing date is today. Asking for an extension to akin to admitting you lost. In any case, I'll try to make do with what we've got. I won't let engineering's efforts go to waste. Understood. I'm certain you'll learn how to handle it better. So this is um, basically like robot animes. Um, biggest example is Mobile Suit Gundam. Um, let me grab the case here because there is so many Mobile Suit Gundams in this. Uh, I don't even know. I, I'm not even. I haven't even really watched these animes before. I actually just started watching Mobile Suit Gundam Double O or Double Zero uh, or O O. However, it worded. It's actually pretty fucking good. I tried to start watching with Mobile Sun Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. I got halfway through the first episode and like I'm completely lost and I just shut it off. So I hopped to another one. Figured let's give that a try and it actually caught my attention. So uh, what's really cool and one of the reasons why I bought this one first because it also has characters from the anime Cowboy Bebop and I love be some Cowboy Bebop. The anime, not the live action show. The live action show is meh. The anime is maze balls. If you not watch it, check that shit out. But the president himself is watching. Make it work. Damn it. The fate of this project depends on me. I can't fail. Okay, let's kick some fucking robot ass. Targets acquired. Five Zectars. Now this, looking into this, this is one of those... RPGs are one of those games where you gotta kind of look into it a little bit get some research because this is an actually an in-depth game There's a lot of mechanics and a lot of deep mechanics in it um, Which I'm gonna fumble through at the start. I'm sure once I get into this um, I'll be more adept to know what the fuck's going on, but as of right now, I'm kind of kind of been watching some how to's on like the stats and how to upgrade and what to upgrade and what to look into and how to look into the stats and there's a lot of um a lot of stuff that goes into this a little more in depth than i thought it was but project x zone was the same way so i don't know it's something about those these uh, strategy rpgs understood sir i'll do my best to get the project approved all right this video Shit, I didn't realize I was already 10 minutes in. I'll be giving you orders from the Karox and providing weaponry as necessary. I know there's only so much you can do. Understood. Okay, well, I'm like speed it up on the combat. Speech. All right, let's do this. Presenting a new project in front of the president. My boss and my team is counting on me. What more could a salary man ask for? The prototype's now online. We will now commence the test. All right, Asake. Let's see what you've been teaching the kid. 
think of a way to get it done. None, not for a reason it can't. Okay. Uh, there we go, Terranado. The company's future is on the line. All right. Special scenario. Proposal T1023. Victory conditions. Defeat all the enemies. Fulfill the victory conditions in the blue clears... In blue clears the map. Okay. Defeat conditions. Drake God is defeated. SR point conditions. This scenario does not have SR points. So um, there's something with SR points. I'm still learning. Okay. Alright. So basically it's a grid game. Oh shit, I did not know you can do that. Holy shit. Okay. Whoa. Alright, that was weird. Let's keep it like this. Alright. Um, you get into menus. You can look at... I don't know what this is. Um, you can hover over bad guys. You can look at the bad guys info. You can look at what pilots they are. Their AI control. What type of mechs. The health. The armor. The mobility. The sights. The movements. Uh, the types, so they're ground type, they can move five spaces, they're good on ground and space, but okay, you know, but okay in air and water. Um, their weapons, beam machine guns. Uh, you can even go in even more and see what kind of skills they have, if you want. I can go over my guy, and I can look my stat. Um, what skill sets I have, my mech info, really decent mech, nice. Um, yeah guys, this is, this is intense, so let's check this out, see what we can do. So I can keep this at a reasonable video link for you folks, because I know some of you really like that decent time. Uh, we got beam bayonet, so let's attack this dude. Now, I'll demonstrate two ways of fighting. Because, like I said, I did the tutorial. Demo on, demo off. So, demo on will show this cool cinematic fight scene. Demo off will show a quick, quick time fight scene. So, I'm going to do the first one with the demo on. The next one I'll do with the demo off. Just to show you. Commence! The Tornado, who's taught this wild stallion, would be a tornado. I won't be able to make full use of its specs with just me alone. Excuse me. I'm still fighting the summer cold, folks. Take this! Dude, these fucking... It's a straight out of anime. Like, just the, the combat, the fight... This is insane combat. Oh, counterattack. Alright. Oh, I dodged it. Good. Nice work, Toronado! I got 22 experience from that fight. Um, that's all I can do. I don't know what X action is. Oh, extra action. How the fuck do you do an extra action? Okay. I don't know what I just did. I don't think I can do anything else. Alright, so basically you click off on a squid and you end phrase. In phase. In phrase. Alright, so we're gonna do demo off. Just to show you what it looks like when So that's a basic quick attack or not quick attack. You can turn off the special graphics basically. Alright, they're all moving. My phase now. Alright. I'm going to attack with the Mega Beam Launcher. I'm going to attack this one. I'm going to have it turn on and let's start the battle. I have to make this presentation a successful one. Uh, the, these fights are epic, and I guess they get even more epic depending on the type of attack. I just totally annihilated that guy in one hit. Um, you can get unlock special attacks where it just takes up the whole fucking screen. On just fucking crazy 
Um, crazy anime action. Alright, uh, I think that's really all I can do. I need to get an extra. Ooh, I got it. Alright, here we go. Extra actions. Here we go. The EXC. So I got extra action. I can spin that. Okay, what did my extra action do? Ignores special abilities and skill sets related to enemy defense. Also ignores the reduced damage caused by size differences. Okay. Can I not attack? I guess. Well, okay. We'll uh, in phase and see what happens. All right, let's watch the battle. Beep beep, I shoot at you. Oh, I miss! Your aim was not bad, but... Returning favors are just basic business courtesy. I'm using a launcher here! Blast your ass! <laughs> yeah, something tells me he ain't doing that shit again, guys. Nice. Leveled up. SP65. Close quarter battle, maybe? 149, my range. Skills, defense. I don't know what EVD is. Hits, maybe my hit points. I don't know. Except I'm still learning this stuff. So, hey, I'm level 2. That's cool. Alright, so down here he's attacking me. There's actions. I can counter, defend, or evade. So we're gonna counter. I'm gonna counter with the Mega Launcher Blaster. Let's start. Saw that one coming a mile away. Returning favor is just basic courtesy. So I, I foresee a lot of um, repeat combat um, animations, and that's okay. Ooh, he survived that one. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to make a couple videos on this one. Um, from my understanding, this is a very long game. And I don't know how long this game is. That was cool. Critical attack. Yeah, these, these, these fight scenes are epic as fuck. Um, can I... In phase. Let him attack me. So this game <laughs> It's crazy right now because I've got Baldur's Gate I'm playing Spoiler alert I'm playing this in, in August And this video will post the first week of September So I'm still playing Baldur's Gate Okay, which is a ridiculously long game Dude, he's leveled up again, nice um, I started playing Final Fantasy 6 a little bit that one's gonna be more of a casual play, I think. But that game's also long. This game, at the minimum, takes 68 hours to to beat. Uh, if I want to do all the extras, which I don't think I can get all the extras because I'd have to set up a Hong Kong eShop account, and I guess that's really kind of tricky to do. So I'm gonna I might look into that. Maybe I can get some DLC. But main 
plus all the extra is about 87 hours to beat. Um, the main story is about 68, so I'm dedicating about another 60 hours of my life to a game here. A um, couple more games coming out, you know, Sky Falls and basically Fallout in Space, and um, Armor Core 6 by From Software. Is also supposed to be a like 60 hours game or so so yeah it's gonna be a lot of a lot of a lot of rpgs a lot of action a lot of big fucking robots in space folks that's what we're here to talk about this month of september um so yeah um let's continue let's get this video rolling so we can move on and i'll uh do another video on some of the stuff that happens after the combat. My job is complete. Issues aside, I met the objectives for the time being. Ooh, what's this? Good job. You did well. It's an honor, sir. I'm the only one impressed by... I'm not the only one impressed by your skills. Ah, oh, they're clapping. Splendid work! Splendid! I, uh, 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 I think he just... Yeah. The company's future rides on you and your Taranada. Proposal number T1023 Project TMDDD Developing a candidate mechanism becomes mass production model for the Federation. You'll need to go through the rest of the board, but for now, you've got my approval. Look how happy he looks. Come to my office in two hours, and we'll get the project started officially. Boss. Excellent work. Engineering deserves credit, of course, but you're the one who crossed the finish line. Just doing my job, sir. All right, folks, we're going to call it quits for now on Super Robot Wars T. Um, nice little smooth jazz as we finish out the night with Super Robot Wars T. This was Drakeotic Plays. And if you like this game again, I repeat, when you look into this, I repeat, make sure you know what copy you're getting, okay? Don't accidentally order the wrong one and you won't be able to understand what's going on. Um, you can get this off Amazon, you can get it off PlayAsia. Again, like I said, just check which copy you're getting. There are other versions, there's not just T. There's X, V, and 30 which is the 30th anniversary collection or the 30th anniversary game um that one's on steam also by the way folks in the state so if you really want to check this out hop on steam if you got a pc check out super war super robot wars 30 um that's actually ported over to the state sides here or to the west um so yeah folks I'll do more videos on this because there's a lot more to it than just what you see. There's a lot of stuff in between, such as uh, customizing your robots, uh, upgrades, conversations, and a whole bunch more stuff that's involved and not just super epic fucking robot war fights because these things are awesome. I've seen some of the boss fights later on. Holy shit, it's just like watching a fucking crazy anime show. So, alright folks. But until next time, peace.